Today I want you to pay close attention because I'm going to show you how we're conquerors, how we have overcome the world and overcome Bible worshipers. Now pay attention. I want to make a point of view to you Holy Ghost people that you don't get exalted above measure because we can so easily because we have power over Bible worshipers. Now remember, this man here was put in jail. He finally got his head cut off, but listen to what he said. He said, at least I should be exalted above measure. Now, how can you be exalted above measure when everybody's uh, throwing stones at you and put you in jail and, 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 and you're standing before kings and everything? But he said, lest I should be exalted above measure through the abundance of the revelations there was given to me a thorn in the flesh, the messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I should be exalted above measure. Now, how would he be exalted above measure? See, he had conquered the world. He said, there's a crown of life laid up for me. And so he was a conqueror. You see, he could lay hands on people and the Holy Ghost come upon them. He preached the gospel. He was, he was a special vessel to Jesus Christ. And even though he suffered all those things, he was beaten and everything, he was still exalted above measure and got a messenger from Satan. Can you imagine that? Now, I want you to think about your position. When you believe the Bible is the mark of the beast and it's an idol, do you know that puts you head and shoulders above Bible worshipers? Do you know that we have defeated 2 billion and 300 million of these people just with a word from God? Now, I know they got all the buildings and they got all the money and they got all the people, but we got all the power. Now, think about this. Do you know that you can ask a Bible worshiper just one question? I don't care if it's John Hagee, Benny Hinn, or Kenneth Copeland, or any of them. You ask them one question and they'll run from you. Why would they run from you when you ask them, when did the New Testament begin? You know why? Because they can't answer. It makes their Bible a liar. It makes their idol a liar. We've made their Bible a liar so many times. Now think about that. You get exalted over this. They're all scared of us. Every one of them. They come on my channel and I tell them one or two things and they leave with their tail between their legs. I mean, they have, we're exalted. We are exalted people, us Holy Ghost people. The, I know that, de why does the devil attack us? Because we got something. We're not under his control. He don't attack Bible worshipers because they're under his control. You know, they don't even know when the new covenant started. And you ask them when the new covenant started, when the new testament started, they don't know. You can tell them about Timothy. You can tell them Timothy lived under two covenants. And you can show where he said, neglect not the gift that's in you, Timothy. Stir up the gift that's in you, Timothy. Kept by the Holy Ghost that's in you. See, the only thing they got is all scriptures give them inspiration. And this is all they got. They don't have the Holy Ghost. See, we have the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost lives in us and we defeat them every minute of every day. They've been defeated. We're exalted above all Bible worshipers on earth. We don't understand that. And this is why we got to be careful. We'll be exalted above measure. And they didn't even know why the president swore in on the Bible. Now they understand that. We taught them that. And so when you get in all these things and you, you get to thinking, hey, you know, I don't have to go to them prisons with stained glass windows and, and pay 10% to them people. I'm free. I'm set free from them people. I'm not bound down to no Bible. I don't have to be controlled by the Bible. See, that makes you head and shoulders above all Bible worshipers. We've already defeated them. They run from us. And then here's something that really kills them. This kills them. When I tell them, I say, watch my video, Holy Perdition. And they won't even hardly watch it because it scares them. You see, it tells in there that uh, King James is Queen James. And that I tell them to send and get the Bible, the Queen James Bible. They got a Queen James Bible. It tells right in their editorial page that Queen James was a member of the LGBT community. And so they have a Bible out, but they won't even let that Bible in their churches. And it says the same thing as the King James does. But they can't, they won't even watch that, uh, video and they run from that. So they don't even know that Jesus is real. We defeat them on every, every point of view. And they said the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. We asked them, we said, what's the difference between the Father and the Holy Ghost? And no, none of them can answer. None of them can answer. We've defeated Bible worshipers and we're now exalted. We are the most exalted people that's ever lived on earth. We have actually beat two billion and 300 million Bible worshipers. Flat-footed beat them with the Word of God. And when you get into the 
Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, that's Old Testament. Boy, they will really run from that because they know that that's wrong. And all the things that, that we taught them, you remember they're saying the RIFD chip, that's uh, the mark of the beast. And then we told them, we said, it's not the mark of a chip. It's the number of a man. <laughs> and we stopped all that foolishness. Hey, we stopped so many things about uh, paying tithes. You know, you take your tithes in all these different churches, 41,000 different denominations. We have actually defeated them. And now you see, we walk around with our chest stuck out and praising God and the devil's attacking us, but he can't, do, we, don't, we know he's defeated. He's headed for the pit. He can't be saved. No, he's gone. So we defeated the devil. We defeated uh, 2 billion, 300 billion Bible worshipers. The Pope, he won't even fool with us because, you know, he he's uh, the Pope of the, the, the molesters. They molest all these little children. We're the only ones can tell that. Other Bible worshipers can't tell that. We tell the truth. That's the old harlot. And so they, they don't have anything. They forbid people to marry, and that's against uh, the ordinances of, of God. You don't forbid people to marry. When they take a vow to, of poverty, a vow of celibacy, they can't keep that. We know it. We tell all these truths, and we got them in a corner. Do you know they won't even fool with us now? They used to jump on my channel by the dozens, I mean thousands of them, and now they're gone because we defeated them. We have defeated all these Bible worshipers because we are Holy Ghost people. This is why they hated us, because we're better than they are. We are superior to Bible worshipers. Now get what I'm telling you. When you walk around with these truths in you, you've got the Word of God in you. You've got the one that created the world that lives in you. We're His sons and daughters. We know it's the, the Holy Ghost is the way home. That's our ticket. The Bible's not the way home. When you interpret the Bible, you can interpret it to handle snakes or anything. But we don't. We get our messages from the living God, and they hate us, and they want to kill us. But they can't kill us because God won't let them. There's only a few of us, and he has us on the earth as witness. We have overcome the mark of the beast. We have got victory over the mark of the beast. We have victory over this thing. It does not control us. God controls us. Now, think about this, you little children. You feel it inside of you. You say, hey, I'm not controlled by no Bible. I don't have to give the devil 10%. I don't make offerings to the devil. I'm not in prisons with stained glass windows. And you feel it. And you know it. And you go around smiling all the time. And these Bible worshipers are full of gloom and doom. We're anxious to see Jesus. We have overcome the world. We have victory over the mark of the beast. This thing don't control us. People don't control us. Prisons with stained glass windows don't control us. We don't make offerings to devils. We don't bow to nobody. We have God in us. We've overcome the world. We're the most powerful people on this earth that's ever been because the ones that walked before, they had a bunch of Christians in the beginning. Well, ain't but a few of us. But we walk today in God, and we know when we see them with their Bible on their arm and they're heading to them prisons with stained glass windows, we know that ain't got us. We got victory over the mark of the beast. And we, we have victory over 2 billion, 300 million Bible worshipers. And we know it. We feel it in our heart. And we're proud. And we feel it in us. We have God in us. They got God in a book. God lives in us. And we have power. Now we got to be careful not to get exalted too high. Because I've run these devils now all over this world. They can't answer. They just can't answer the questions we have. We have so many revelations from God. We, we're exalted. Like this man here. He said he... Uh, Lest I should be exalted through the abundance of revelation. We have an abundance of revelation that King James was Queen James. We, that's in the National Library in Scotland. It's in the library in England, in London. They, we've got the proof on them that he was Queen James. They won't even talk to us because we got the goods on them. They cannot confront us. It was just like Jesus. They would not ask him any more questions because he said, the baptism of John said, was it of God? Or was it of man? They couldn't answer. Couldn't answer. When we asked them, when did the New Testament begin? Can't answer. How about Timothy? Stir up the, uh, the spirit in you, Timothy. They can't answer. They can't answer about Queen Jane. They can't answer us. We got the questions. They can't give the answer. Even professors in college. 
I've rode them to about the dozen by the buku. They know this is true. They know Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John is Old Testament, but they can't say it. They'd lose their job. So they're bound. They're in captivity. They're, we're their only hope. They are in captivity, and Satan will not let them go loose. And we're exalted children, you Holy Ghost people. On this day, the Lord gave his life for us, and we know it. And we live in the Spirit. So we're exalted. And be exalted, but don't be exalted above measure. Speak. 